It's time for spelling analysis. Today we will be using our new phonogram which says ow o. Oh. Let's say it together. Ow o. Oh. Be listening for this one. All right, our first word is cow. I heard a cow moo. Cow. Go ahead and say cow. Let's sound it out. K. Use a k. S. Ow. Oh, there's our new phonogram. Go ahead and write cow. Great. Now help me to write it. K. Ow. Did you use a k s here? All right, how will we mark cow? We'll underline the ow. And what sound of ow o oh, is that? It's the first sound. K, ow. The next word is snow. There is snow on the ground outside. Snow. Go ahead and say snow. Let's sound it out. S, n, o. Oh. This is an ow o. Oh. Got it? Go ahead and write snow. Good, help me to write it. S, n, o. How will we mark snow? You're right, we'll underline the o. And what sound of ow, o is this? It's its second sound, o, snow. So we'll put a two over it. Let's sound it out. S, n, o, snow. Let's read this one. K, ow, cow. Let's read this one. S -n -o. Snow. This is fun. We have two words that show both of the sounds. Ow, o. Oh. The next word is tell. I will tell you a secret. Tell. Go ahead and say tell. Let's sound it out. T, e, u, u. Did you hear that? One more time. T, e, u, u. That's right, we are doubling the ol sound. Go ahead and write tell. Very good, now help me to write it. T, e, o, o. Why did we double the o or the l? We often double f, l, or s after a single vowel at the end of a base word. Let's sound it out. T, e, o, o, tell. The next word is corn. We will be having corn on the cob for dinner. Corn, go ahead and say corn. Let's sound it out. K. Use a k, s, or n. Go ahead and write corn. Excellent, now help me to write it. K, or n. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the or. Let's read it. K, or, n, corn. The next word is hatch. I think the eggs are ready to hatch and we will have baby chicks. Hatch. Go ahead and say hatch. Let's sound it out. H, a, ch. Did you see that? I have three fingers up. Why? You're right, it's three letter ch. Let's sound it out again. Hatch. Go ahead and write hatch. Now help me to write it. Hatch. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the ch. And why could we use three letter ch? That's right, it's after a single short vowel. So we use three letter ch after a single short or broad vowel. Let's sound it out. H, hatch. Great work today. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.